Good day po ma'am. So we are the group 2 and we are going to report on social issues in the news. So the first news was arrest made in the Nalizan Spring. Um, the headline said, in March 2010, three high school students, two juveniles and um, one 18 years old allegedly spray painted obscenities on cars, homes, and an elementary school and Muncy, Indiana. A, po a police captain said, I think they just started out to do a friend's house. The thing kind of carried away after that and went nuts through the rest of the neighborhood. The estimated damage was in the thousands of dollars and was so extensive that the 18 years old suspect was charged with the Penny, the police captain said the, the boys felt sorry for their vandalism. They probably wish they could take it back, but it happened. So, um, so ngayon po, um, um, one of the issues was in na po yung vandalism na ginawa naman. Nung mga um, high school student and yung dalawang juveniles and yung 18 years old na um, um, na bata. So, um, so, um, di pa po, um, um, when the reason nowadays was one of the, um, meron na siyang batas na bawal siyang gawin lalo na kapag, um, nasa public area. So, yun yung parang sa, um, um, yung vandalism is ngayon, isa na siya sa mga social issue na kinakaharap ng mga tao na dapat iwasan na gawin. So, good day everyone. I'm the next reporter, Jessica Arada. And based on the story, ay naglarawan na bihira sa mga teens yung gumawa ng mga activities katulad ng mga spray painting. At kung unawain, may mga bagay na malalim na dahilan kung bakit nga ba nagawa yung mga gawa ng bagay. In the English school, it's John Doe, native to 72 to 1631. One suit, no man is an island, entire of self. Every man is a piece of the continent, apart from the name. He of it cement that na walang taong nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang pautaw sa mundo ay sa isang kontinente. At bahagi tayo ng pangunahing kasangkapan bilang tao na kailangan din natin ang tulong ng iba at kailangan din natin kumulong sa iba. So ito yung nagreman sa atin na isa tayo sa member ng society at nasa micro level na kung saan hindi yung makakapamuhay na hindi maaaring umasa sa tulong ng iba. May magagawa din tayo mapa individual man o pamilya under category. Sa ibang physics chapter, ang psychologist ay mahalagang tungkulin kung saan in-explain ang attitude and behavior in terms of many groups. So, sa chapter na ito ay i-discuss ang ibang types of group para maunawaan yung behavior and attitude for the understanding society itself. So, as you can see, group is important for many for, of us, for our needs, for the society to function well. Pero hindi sa lahat ng bagay ay may positibo. Para rin ito mag lead ng mga negatibong kahit nagdan katulad ng The Star of Vandalism, Monty Illustrate. So, yun na po. Thank you. So, ano nga ba ang social group? A social group here after this group consists of two or more people who regularly interact the basis of mutual expectation who share a common identity. So, sinasabi dito na sa panlipunan tayo ay binubuo ng grupo na may dalawa o higit pang miyembro, na mayroon tayong pagkakakilanlan sa isa't isa. So, sinabi dito ni John Doney, the 17th century English poet, na no man is an island. So, ibig sabihin nito, uh, walang taong nabubuhay sa pansarili lamang. Maraming, pi maraming grupo ng mga tao, tulad ng pamilya, group of friends, at ang mga manggagawa sa ating lipunan. Sociologist Ferdinand Thomas long ago characterized this key characteristic of traditional and industrial societies with the German who and Thomas said that a sense of community characterized traditional societies where family and community are quite strong. A society grew and industrialized and as people move to cities. Tony said societies weakened and became more impersonal. Tony called this situation 
Jessel scalp and found it dismaying German scalp and Jessel scalp means human community. Kay Tonis, inilalarawan ni Tonis ang mga taong aktibong nagtutulungan upang mapanatili ang kanilang samahan at maisulong ang kanilang layun. Layunin. Halimbawa na lamang ang simbahan. Kay Jesus Scaff ay tumutukoy sa mga asosasyon kung saan ang pansariling interes ang pangunahing katwiran para sa pagiging nabo. Dito kay Giselle, Giselle Scaff ay, ay mas pinapalagan nila ang, ang individual kaysa sa, ma, kaysa sa, sa komunidad. So alamin natin yung types. So, one of the most important types is the formal organizations, also just organizations. So, sinasabi dito na yung organization na yun, yung organization is part siya ng social group. Yes, which is a large group that follow explicit rules and procedures to achieve specific goals and tasks. Yung mga organization na yan, sila yung mga, uh, sila yung mga gumagawa ng mga activity na mga activity or tumutulong sila para sa ikabubuti ng komunidad. So yung mga organization na mga organization talaga yan sila pag once na may organizations doon sa community nyo, eh sila yung mga gumagawa ng paraan para para ma para makapusid kayo kung anong goal ng ano niyo ng komunidad. So next is um sabi dito for better and for worse Organizations are an essential feature of modern society. Our banks, our hospital, our schools, and so many other examples are all organization. Yes, lahat ng yun is organizations. Kasi alam naman natin na sa pag sa banks, simply may ano na yun, may organization na sa hospital, sa school, marami ng organizations na nakapaloob dun. Yung sa yung mga scholarship niyan sa mga para sa mga estudiante organizations yun. Yung sa ospital, yung pag, uh, pag gusto mong kumuha ng ano, ng, ng, pag gusto mo ng libre, pwede kang pumunta doon sa mga social work, sa mga social worker. So, may organization din sila. Good day everyone, my name is Kiri Sejeri Loss and I will report about social institutions. The modern society is filled with many social institutions. Did all help society meet its needs and achieve other goals? And those have a profound impact not only on the society as a whole, but also in virtually every individual in a society. So, examples of social institutions include the family, the economy, the politics, or government, education, religion, and medicine or healthcare. So, social Institutions are important for several reasons like first because they provide structure and organization. Um, social institutions such as family, education, government, religion, and the economy provide structure and, organi and organization necessary to create and maintain a functional society. So these institutions provide guidelines for behavior, laws and regulations, and a uh, framework for decision making. Second, they, they help to maintain social order. So social institutions provide rules and regulations that help to maintain social order and stability. So they provide a framework for resolving complex and addressing societal problems. Third, they help to socialize individuals. So social institutions help to socialize individuals by providing them, providing them with the skills, knowledge, and values necessary to function in society. So for example, the family institutions, they, uh, they teach us children about appropriate behavior and values, while the education systems provide them with the knowledge and skills necessary to succeed in life. So, last, uh, the fourth, they may they help to meet the basic uh, they help to meet basic human needs. So, uh, social institutions provide for basic needs 
basic human needs of individuals such as foods and shelter and also health care. So the economy institutions provides for production and distribution of goods and services while the government institutions provide for the protection of citizens and provision of public services. So yung report ko naman po is all about the society. So society is a certainly differ in many ways. Some are larger and some are larger in population and some are smaller. Some are modern and some are less modern. Since the origin of sociology during the 19th century, sociologists have tried to understand how and, mod and why modern industry real society developed. Part of this understanding involves determining the differences between industrial society and traditional one. So, sinasabi dito na ang society ay nahati sa dalawang uri. Merong malaki at merong maliit. So, yung maliit na society, ito yung hindi pa masyadong maunlad or wala pa masyadong ginagamit ng mga modernong mga kagumitan katulad sa mga Uh, sa katulad sa malaking society, uh, mayroon na silang iba't ibang uh, modern ng ginagamit like katulad ng sa atin. Uh, dito sa katulad na, na nga lang po dito sa ating kinabibilang ng society, mayroon na po tayong ginagamit na iba't ibang moderno, moderno pang industriya o pang komunikta sa iba't ibang panig. So, for example po, uh, masasabi lang natin na isang Masasabi lang natin na maunlad ang isang society kapag uh, nabibigyan niya na yung mga pangangailangan o napapabad niya na yung mga pangangailangan ng bawat pamilya sa isang komunidad. The next po is one of the key differences between traditional and industrial societies is the emphasizes place on the community versus the emphasizes place on the individual. In traditional society, community feeling and group commitment are usually the cornerstone of social life. In contrast, industrial society is more individualistic and impersonal, where are the people in traditional society have close daily ties. Those in industrial society have many relationships in which one person barely knows the other person's commitment To the group and community become less important in industrial societies and individual individualism becomes more important. So, sinasabi dito na ang mayroong pagkakaiba ang industrial and traditional society. So, yung industrial society, ang industrial society, ito yung nagbibigay diin sa komunidad kumpara sa mga individual at ang traditional society naman ito yung mayroong pakikipag-ugnayan sa bawat isa at mal malapit na pakikipag-ugnayan sa bawat isa lalo na lalo na sa pang araw-araw So, according to sociologist Ferdinand Tonis of 1887 to 1963 long ago characterized this gay characteristics of traditional and industrial societies We, the German wound Tony, see that a sense of community characterized uh, traditional societies where family, kin, and communities are quiet strong. So, sinabi niya dito na long ago daw, uh, nakikita niya dun sa, ano, sa community na yung mga family, yung community ay may, ano sila, may strong bond together. Tapos, as a societies grow in industrialized and as people move to city, yun na nga, no, nagkaroon na ng mga city, di ba kasi dati talaga, hindi pa ano talaga yung masyado yung city. Karamihan, mas gusto sa probinsya to, uh, manirahan. So, Tony says, social ties weaken and become more impersonal. Dahil daw dun, yung ties ng mga, ng mga tao is parang naging, ano siya, weak. Uh, parang paunti-unti siya nawawala. Kasi nga, dahil nga doon sa mga bagong cities, is parang, parang, uh, kunti na lang yung communications nila sa isa't isa. Parang, uh, dahil doon sa mga makabagong, makabagong mga ginagawa is, mas nag, uh, mas nagkakaroon ng uh, opportunity 
na maging less maging less yung ano nila yung tie ties pala i mean ties so uh, yung situations na to tinawag ni Tonis na Jesus scuffed and Jimmy scuffed so sinasabi dito na yung gym, yun, na yung Jesus scuff is based on weak family ties competitions and less personal social, social relationship. So ito na yung napapansin natin ngayon na yung uh, yung mga family, yung mga ties nila is nagiging ano na siya nagiging weak at mas marami na nagko-compete. Kahit nga nasa community lang kayo, 'di ba? Nagkakaroon ng competitions. And nagiging less na yung personal personal relationship nila. So pag Jimmy scuff naman is ito ay based sa traditions, kinship, and intimate social relationship. So, parang inaano nito na yung Jimmy's Cup is ano na siya, pang uh, probinsya. Pag Jesus Cup is sa, sa mga ano na, matataas na sa city. So, sa Jimmy's Cup, sinasabi dito na may intimate social relationship sila. Kasi, yung mga tao din is nagbibase pa rin sila sa traditions at sa mga kinship, uh, sa mga belief nong ano nila, kapanahunan. So, thank you. So, I'm Gina Marie Al Santa Maria and I'm going to report about sociology and sociological perspective. Una, sociological perspective. It is an approach to understanding human behavior and also it refers to the social problems that affecting many individuals. So, problem in society, the self-account for problems that individual experience. Sinasabi po dito na sociological perspective is it refers sa mga social problems na nakaka sa mga individual sa ating society. Second, understanding society. So, from the word understanding, so kailangan natin intindihin kung ano man naging problema sa ating society. And by developing a deeper understanding of society, mas matuto tayo makipag-socialize sa ibang tao and we can contribute a um, positive, positive social change in our society. Number three, theoretical perspective in society. So, there are several theoretical perspective in sociology including functionalism, conflict theory, and others. So, dito, um, bawat perspective ay may, may iba-ibang way sa pag ng social phenomena and to emphasize mga different aspect of social life. So, dito, makakatulong ito to contribute to the development of social policies and interventions that can address a social problem in our society. And last, end, chapter end of chapter material. So, sinasabi po dito na some sociologists favor the social contractionist view of negative social conditions or behavior are not social problems unless they are generally perceived as a social problem. But other sociologists say that these conditions and behavior are still social problems, social problems even if they are not perceived as such.